All right, so in this video, I'm going to solve the equation the eighth root of negative a is equal to 4. So I want to find the value of a. So to solve an equation like this, what I'm going to do is first rewrite the eighth root of negative a as negative a to the power of 1 over a. Because if I have the nth root of a number x, this is the same thing as x to the power of 1 over n. Now, I'm going to let 1 over a equal to negative x. Meaning, a is equal to negative 1 over x, if I rearrange these variables, and negative a is equal to 1 over x. So, this means that I have 1 over x to the power of negative x is equal to 4. And 1 over x is the same thing as x to the power of negative 1. Because any number to the power of negative 1 is 1 over that same number. So now I have x to the power of negative 1 to the power of negative x is equal to 4. And if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So these two multiply, and I get x to the power of positive x is equal to 4. So this is basically asking what number to the power of that same number is equal to 4. And 4 is the same thing as 2 squared, meaning x is equal to 2. However, we aren't done yet because remember, we're trying to find the value of a, not x. And we let 1 over a equal to negative x. So if 1 over a is equal to negative 2, then this means that a is equal to negative 1 half. Now, before you leave, I actually have one solution, one another solution to this equation. <clears throat> and to use this to actually solve for the solution, I'm going to be using logarithms. So for the second method, I am going to be using logarithms. So our equation was again a to the power of negative, the eighth root of negative a is equal to. Four. And what I'm going to start off by doing is again rewriting this as negative a to the power of 1 over a is equal to 4. But this time, I'm going to take the power of a on both sides. And remember, if I have something from a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n, meaning these two multiply. And cancel out. So I get negative a is equal to 4 to the power of a. Now from here, I'm going to multiply both sides by 4 to the power of negative a. And if I have something in the form a to the power of m times a to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m plus n. So in this case, I have negative a times 4 to the power of negative a is equal to 4 to the power of a plus negative a, which is 0. And any number to the power of 0 is 1. So I get negative a times 4 to the power of negative a is equal to 1. So this is where logarithms come in. I'm going to rewrite 4 to the power of negative a 
as e to the power of So I'm going to rewrite 4 to the power of negative a as e to the power of ln of 4 to the power of negative a. And the reason I'm doing this is because the e and ln cancel out and automatically bring 4, four to the power of negative a. So this is just the same thing as 4 to the power of negative a. e to the power of the ln of, let's say, 8 is just equal to 8. So they just cancel out. And this is all equal to 1. Now from here, I can move before, or sorry, I can move the ln of 4 to the front, which is, this is a property of logarithms. So I get negative a times ln of 4 times e to the power of negative a of ln 4 is equal to 1 times ln 4, um, because I'm multiplying both sides by ln 4. And this turns into negative a times ln 4 times e to the power of negative a of ln 4 is equal to, I'm going to rewrite ln 4 as ln 2 times e to the power of ln 2, which is just ln 2 times 2 because e to the power of ln of 2 is 2. Now, finally, I'm going to use the w Lambert function, which states that if I have the w, of something in the form a times e to the power of a, this is equal to a. So in this case, I'm going to take the w on both sides. So I get w of negative a times ln 4 times e to the power of negative a of ln 4 is equal to the w of ln 2 times e to the power of ln 2. And now, notice how this is in the form a times e to the power of a. a in this case being negative a times ln 4. So I have negative a times ln 4 times e to the power of negative a times ln 4. So this is all just equal to a, meaning this is equal to negative a times ln 4, which is equal to, again, a times e to the power of ln a, and a in this case is ln 2. So I get negative a times ln 4 is equal to ln 2. And now I'm going to divide both sides by ln 4. So I get negative a is equal to ln of 2 over ln 4, which is the same thing as ln 2 squared. And now I can move the 2 to the front. So I get ln 2 over 2 times ln 2. And these two cancel out. So I get negative a is equal to negative 1 half, or sorry, positive 1 half. And finally, if I multiply both sides by negative 1, I get a is equal to negative 1 half.